Still small parameters define the mechanical, electrical, and electromechanical properties of a loudspeaker and predict how a driver will work in an enclosure. It's a common measurement for loudspeaker designers and it's easy to do in SoundCheck. SoundCheck offers three built-in methods for calculating the TL small parameters, known mass, added mass, and known volume. You can also use a laser, but that's a subject for another video. Let's take a look. The known mass method is when the mass of the driver is known, along with the effective cone diameter and coil resistance. The sequence begins with user prompts to enter all three of these. Next, a stepped sign sweep is used to calculate the impedance of a loudspeaker. A series of post-processing steps uses this curve and the data entered by the user to generate the TL small parameters, which are displayed on two tables. TL small parameters can also be measured when the mass of the driver is not known. In this case, we use the added mass method. First, the user is prompted to enter the driver diameter and a stepped sweep is run to calculate the impedance curve without the added mass attached. Next, the user can either enter the DC resistance of the loudspeaker or use the minimum impedance method. Using minimum impedance involves searching for the lowest value of the impedance curve. Now, we enter the value of the added mass in grams and attach it to the loudspeaker. This added mass can be modeling clay or mounting putty stuck to the cone close to the voice coil to change the resonant frequency of the loudspeaker. Another stepped sweep is run and a second impedance curve is calculated. A series of post-processing steps uses the data entered and measured to generate the TL small parameters in two tables. The third method, known volume, assumes we know the total volume of the enclosure. In this case, we enter the driver diameter and we make an impedance measurement using a stepped sweep with the driver mounted vertically in free air. Like before, we can enter the DC resistance of the loudspeaker or use the minimum impedance method. The second impedance measurement is made with the driver mounted in the known volume and a series of post-processing steps uses the measured and user input data to generate the TL small parameters. If you already have SoundCheck, you can download test sequences for all three methods from our website. Check it out.